What's up beautiful people? We've just parked up in Ilfracombe. We drove for an hour along the coast, just into North Devon again today. We had some rain. And now it, we're kind of like skirting on the edge of a, a storm right now, we think. There's this huge statue. It's called Verity by Damien Hurst. It doesn't look too strange from this angle, but if you walk down onto the pier and along here, you can see it's like the skin is being peeled back and you can see all of the muscle. It's like a skeleton head up here. And we've even got a fetus here. A more eccentric piece, that's for sure. Our first rainy day. <laughs> the rain's coming down. We're gonna go find a coffee. <laughs> Hannah also found on TikTok that there's a place where we can get, what is it, crab crab fries? Oh, it's in here. Perfect. Slice of Devon, crab fries and lobster rolls. So we're gonna get it for now for lunch. I think this is good. Okay. Please, could you have one lobster roll yeah. and one crab loaded fries? Would you say that's enough for two? Or would you say to get something else I as well? Something else. What else do you want to like get? Calamari, maybe. Just yeah, we'll get a calamari yeah. as well. Thank you. Why not? Why not? Thank you so much. Need to sit yeah. down this somewhere. Look, sun's coming out. I'll put it back. Look at this. This is what we were just under. But that sun has come out for the perfect time for an al fresco meal. So we got squid, we got crab fries, and we got the lobster roll. Let's try some of these crab chips. Yeah! Really yummy. Mm. Right by the sea. It's really good. Mmm, that squid is unreal. Yum! This is nice. The rain came in heavy, but it thankfully... It did come in very heavy, but it's in like short bursts really, isn't it? And this is like a lovely little seaside town. They actually do a lot of, you can see some stools like along here. They do a lot of like boat trips out to see seals and dolphins and things. And they have like kayak trips and things like that. But because of it being like one of these nice towns, there's loads of shops for us to while away some time in. And we just bought some crabbing stuff. I'm excited to have a go, if we can. This has been on my list of things to do. I made a list of 30 things to do before I was 30, like a year ago. And this has been on that list because I have not been crabbing since I was a young boy. I'm not sure, I always had one with a hook, not a bag. Rock, paper, scissors, go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Gross. Hannah now has to put this dried, salty squid in the net bags. It's actually taken us quite a while. I say us, I couldn't tie these knots on the, I couldn't get these attached at all. Hannah did it all. It took a little while, but now we're nearly ready to go. Oh, I am so excited. I'm not sure if this is wise, because I feel like it's- We could go up, maybe there. we go back up to the- I think uh, we should go where it's a bit more constant, maybe. The tide was coming in slightly too quickly for our liking. And it was very slippery. Really, really slippery and I am pretty clumsy. Hello. Hello. Do I have to undo this a bit more? Yeah, yeah, you want to let it like just flop right down to the bottom. I wonder if we'll get any here. We figured when the tide comes up, it'll come up and over more. And then we think there'll be more crabs over in that side. So we're just gonna, we're bottom? gonna do a practice now. What? I think it's at the bottom. It feels heavy, but- Is it I tugging? Think, it was a bit, but I don't know whether it- Any crab? No. No crab. Not this time. I reckon this side is where it's at. That's what the lady in the shop said. Oh, I think it's gone. It definitely felt like I had one though. Did you? See if it's been Maybe nibbled. Is it had a nibble? I think so. Maybe it was the wind. Oh no. 
Is it, is it heavy? No. Oh. I definitely felt cool then though. We're getting closer. Come on. We had absolutely zero luck crabbing from zero there. Luck. I, well, actually. I've even got my crabbing hat on. <laughs> How very rude. I either got caught on some seaweed or got a monster crab. So that, that obviously fell off before I could bring it up or yeah, even yeah, film yeah, that's anything. Exactly what happened. But I'm pretty sure it was the monster crab. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, now we're going to walk on to oh, the beach that's called Tunnels, Tunnels Beach. Beaches. Yeah, it's like a. Oh, it's Tunnels Beaches. That's what it says on Google. You like go through a, a, a tunnel to like a Victorian beach with a bathing spot. Mm -hmm. They made like an afternoon tea out of like sponges. Oh, I love it. Oh, you need to pay. I didn't know that. That's all right. How much is it? Let's do it. In 1823, a team of hundreds of Welsh miners, Welsh miners, hand carved through the cliffs to allow easier access to Crew Corn Cove and built three tidal bathing pools. Oh, nice. The Victorians used to bathe here. We had like swimming instructors and things. Oh yeah, look, here's all the old... Harry Parker, Professor Harry Parker. Swimmer and instructor. <laughs> Off we go. So it cost £3.50 for an adult ticket to get in, so it was £7 for the two of us. And we've come a little bit later in the day and the tide's already coming in, so they said we might not see the tidal pools but it's the same price if you come in the morning and just stay here all day. Mind the drips. Look at that. This behind us is the wedding venue. It's like open for teas and coffees when they haven't got a wedding. Yeah, look, that, that would be a gorgeous venue, wouldn't it? It would be a gorgeous house, wouldn't it? It would. <laughs> We got it to ourselves? Yes. <laughs> wow. Day three pound fifteen get a private beach. Lovely. That's amazing. So you can see here the tide's in now. But this would be like a they've made that into a rock pool so you can just bathe there or one of the three that they've got. And up here, these are the past, last two tunnels we came through. So this is the last one, and then there's the other one there. So top tip is definitely to come here in low tide, which we actually could have done earlier annoyingly, but we didn't realise that we, uh, we had to do that. We didn't quite research enough for this place. It's still a pretty awesome experience nonetheless. Considering those tunnels were carved 200 years ago, exactly. I'm very impressed with her though. I would not be going in. How much would it take for you to have to go in? To have to go in? As in, if I said a thousand pounds for you to go in over your head, no. I reckon you'd do it. Mm -mm. I came back to the famous Porlock Weir where they have annual crabbing and fishing competitions. So we're hoping that we're going to have more luck here than we did oh, in Ilfracoon. Cool. And that the crabs are going to be hungry. It's time. What a setting for it. Hey, crabby, 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 crabby. 
we go for a pint? Yeah. And just admit defeat. Yeah. Massive thanks to The Best of Exmoor for hosting us on this trip. The Best of Exmoor is a local family-run business offering a huge selection of self-catering cottages in the area. Click the link in the description and use the code Loz's Leisure, or snap the QR code on screen now and you'll get £30 off any holiday cottage stay on their website. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave it a like and consider subscribing for more. Ding. Thank you so much for watching. Big love. That feels good around here. Keep your eyes peeled for crabs. <laughs> Despite not catching any crabs at all, a big fat zilch. <laughs> you still had a lovely day. <laughs>